the best example for green campus. The campus consists of different types of trees. Just naming a few, neem tree, citrus lemon, magnifera indica, ficus, gulmohar, Indian almond tree, bird of paradise plant and many variety of flowering plants. Our campus also witnesses more number of beehives. As there are more flowering plants, honeybees are attracted. Honeybee are the world's most important single species of pollinator in natural ecosystem and a key contributor to natural ecosystem function. More than 90% of leading and in 7 global crop variety is pollinated by the honeybee. As there are more colorful flowers, we witness more variety of butterflies in our campus. Butterflies are known to be the most beautiful insect in the world. They are important pollinators to most agricultural crops. In addition to their ecological niche, butterflies are also important because they act as a food source to predators like birds, spiders, lizards and other animals. The butterfly life cycle is often used as a teaching tool in science for young children, especially the transformation of caterpillar to pupa and adult is one of the most marvelous wonders in nature. Our campus is also home for many birds, beetles, bugs, sow bugs, termites, columella, crickets, mites, earwigs, ants, millipedes, centipedes, praying mantids, vast and many more species. Today we are celebrating 50th anniversary of Earth Day. What a better way could be to heal our planet Earth under this lockdown. Nature flourishes on its own if there is zero interference of human being. Planet Earth is not just home for human being, it's equally home for many species. We have learned lessons from this lockdown. Save planet Earth, save nature. Dear friends of the Earth, greetings of Earth Day 2020. This Earth Day is very unique in many ways. Firstly, it is the golden jubilee of the Earth Day celebrations, that is the 50th anniversary since the Earth Day that started in 1970 in the United States and became a global event in 1990 where around 141 countries came together to promote environmental awareness. Today Earth Day is one of the biggest environmental event or a program that is organized globally in which around 190 and more than that countries come together. It galvanizes more than a billion people to pledge and take up the cause for environmental protection. Thirdly, we are at the brink of the world's most dangerous time in history. The recent pandemic has made the human intelligence helpless. Uncertainty, fear, and loss of lives and livelihoods are, have forced humanity to stop and pause. On the other hand, we hear some news that says that the earth has begun its healing process. Air becoming cleaner, water becoming purer and other species thriving and nurturing. But can earth be complete without humans? I understand that it is time that we humans realize 
that we are part of this web of life. It is not right to disintegrate ourselves from this interrelatedness and interconnectedness with a feeling of egoistic superiority and domination that has guided humanity over centuries. Every species, including human, is essential element of this beautiful ecosystem. This year, as we celebrate Earth Day, we realize that it is human species which is most threatened at present. Let us especially remember the pain and agony of thousands of daily wages, migrant laborers, slum dwellers and the homeless who are most affected and vulnerable to this pandemic. Never to forget the health workers and the government authorities like the police personnel who are risking their lives to save humanity. Let us make this Earth Day more meaningful this year by realizing that we all belong to one Earth and we are one family. This lockdown has also taught us that we can live a need-based life rather than wants-based life which disintegrates the Earth. When we shall overcome this pandemic Together as one force, let us remember to embrace earth-promoting lifestyles to build all-loving earth community. Happy Earth Day!